Hello, I'm Megan Rowe and this is Locked On Signatures. The first song that came to mind, thinking about stuff that helped me start out doing music, an album really, the whole self-titled album by For Those I Love. And as well, Real Life by Real Lies. The sweetest thing I've ever Both them albums proper solidified me making electronic music. I previously had done music more like singer songwriter -y. I'm not too much electronic stuff. I was producing my own stuff, but the amount of sampling, especially in the For Those I Love album, is just ridiculous. Like with that one as well, the lyrical content is quite hefty. Seems like no stage, and tomorrow's end today. And I felt this way since torn the page. There's no so it did help me a lot. They're like my two main inspirations, especially for like what I'm doing now. My boyfriend recommended them to me and I had skipped uni, sat listening to the fellow I love. It's quite like an emotional listen, what it's based on and stuff like that for the guy who wrote it, but he's done stuff with like over my own now. Boy have a love and it never fades. Now a long way from school days. Definitely like a big inspiration for me at the minute, especially starting out the sampling and stuff like that. It's what's helped me with my production, like listening to how they've made stuff, also like helped me with lyrics, be a bit more deeper than just like surface level top line and stuff like that. Um, as well, I have some classic old annual CDs. Now these ones are from my dad's collection. So this is the club anthems and then annual anthems. Some of these on here are so influential to me. We've got K Class, let me show you. is just an unreal song. A lot of these as well are female vocals, which you can notice them from a mile off. Like, Baby D, let me be a fancy on this one. And then on this one, there is just loads of female vocals. Ruby De Silva, Touch Me. You touch my mind, so sing it back. All the stuff I grew up listening to with my dad. He's big into like house and trance and stuff like that. He's the reason why I listen to the music I do. My mum doesn't really listen to that sort of music. So literally going up in the loft and looking through his old CDs is just ridiculous. There's so many. He used to have all the head candy classics, like 2004. Like every year I'm pretty sure we had proper fond memories for me, that, that kind of music. And that's what I listen to now, so. And then, uh, bit different like with the other ones like real life and stuff like that it's a bit more songwriter-ish and then them like proper club classics but i've started listening to a lot more grime now the main song that probably got me into old school grime babylon burner by roll deep Bigger cheaper, we need to weaver, hang the first seagull. Yeah, I emerged out of jungle fever, volume one creeper, Roman street sweep. The start of the song, it sounds like one of the old like street fighter games. Yo, Esky boy, roll deep. You know me, listen. I don't know if they sampled it or what, but every time I listen to that, it probably like sets you in that zone. Every time like the new verse comes in, you just know someone's out to just chat some absolute madness. When they're coming in, it's just, yeah, it's a proper tune. Now that's like the kind of stuff I listen to as well. There's club classics and stuff like that. But when I play out, there's always space for a bit of 140 grime in there. I do like Rico Dana and Skepta Jamie, of course. Like I think Ella Kid as well is quite good. Especially like the older stuff, like anything so spiral, just really, really good. The tune by Denim Audio on Groovy D called I'm Ready. That samples, what's her name now? Alicia Keys and the song that they sampled. I give up before we try, feel the lows before the highs. It's such a good sample to use. I mean, I listened to that back in uni, so maybe like two years ago. The reason like, I've kind of been in touch with Harry and stuff like that is from Groovy D and Denim Audio. Listening to that song, I followed them both on Instagram. Then Mario put me in touch with Groovy D and Groovy D has done stuff with him. And that's just rolled on to like doing the Without You tune with me and Silver Bumper. Yeah, proper solidified turning point in my life where I thought, ah, I think I've maybe I'm taking stuff a bit more serious now. So that one's a good one for me. It's really exciting and especially like doing the acapella stuff. I'm getting people out there remixing it and there's been so many people that I've reacted to it who are listening to it. People have messaged me like, this is so good. It's nice to see other people's take on it because obviously we've gone in there with like a plan to what it's going to sound like. And it's just nice to see what other people kind of think it should sound like or think, you know, it would be their way it would sound like. So yeah. Another pick for me will be a slew song, All Over This Party. It 
is more like quite a cutesy dance song. It's one of them songs where every time I listen to it, when the organs come in, when it breaks down, it's just so, so good. I listen to it in my car. Especially I've got both my headphones in, proper like transport shoes to that place. It makes me feel a bit emotional actually, to be honest. I don't think I ever get tired of listening to that one. And Salou's so good. Yeah, bakey last one. <laughs> That song is unreal. The vocal on that, oh, it's just so good. Any of his productions as well, when the bass line comes in, he's so like crafty with it. The drums are so tight. Unreal song. That's probably one of my favourite songs, actually. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. And this has been Megan Rowe with Locked On Signatures. Without You with Silver Bumper is coming out on January 26th.